Uh, we can see Jim Riggleman coming in now to talk to the media downstairs about this 10-5 loss to the Giants. He He's had so much success getting uh, – getting hitters to swing at his fastball that's up around there, letter high, and right now he's throwing it either a little bit lower in a hitting area or a little too high to get him to offer at it. And uh, that's, you know, that's been a real good pitch for him to get strikeouts, and that's just not been happening. Um, he's gotten hurt a little bit with his changeup. You know, he's got a great changeup, but um, you know, word gets around the league a little bit, and every now and then maybe a hitter is looking for it. But he, um, he, he just just a little off you know he's he's just um struggling and uh he's gonna have to keep going out there and figure it out what's the next step in your mind for him i know it seems like you've already backed him a little bit off of the eighth inning role i guess what what's the next move well um you know he threw a lot of pitches tonight um if we use him tomorrow, you know, I, I may try not to use him tomorrow based on throwing a lot of pitches tonight and uh and he's had a he's had a lot of uh, workload throughout the uh the first half of the season, so we may just try to stay away from him until we get to the uh, to the Florida series, and um, just you know, sometimes a few days off like that, he'll regroup and may come back just like he was. But um, for now, I'll try to keep him in that. Um, you know, if there's a couple outs in the sixth, or if we get to the seventh, give him the ball and see if we can get it going again. Now, walks have, have not been an, an issue for him so far this year. Is that something that surprised you? Was there mechanics involved there? Or? I have no idea about the mechanics, you know. You just kind of, you're looking for results, and uh, the walks have hurt him. But, um, you know, again, he's, he's been a, a mainstay for us, really has taken on a lot of the workload down there for us. So, uh, you know, we just got to suffer through a little bit of a bad time here with him. He's mixed in a few good outings uh, in the last 10 days or so, but they've they've been more, um, you know, kind of like tonight where we started the inning with him, trying to get him to start his own inning instead of men on base, see if that gets him a little more comfortable. And uh, I thought he was in, in route to do that tonight, but he went to three and two and rolling hit the change up. But um, the walks uh, came back to bite him. You know, he's three and two on every on every hitter. Jim, in the fifth and the sixth innings, you had some chances there. Can you talk about uh, not getting some runs after you had some good starts? Yeah, you know, we had, we had a uh, offensive night, it looks like. You know, you score five runs, but there was some more out there that we didn't get, and uh, they came back to bite us. But, um, you know, I, I have confidence uh, with, with Clippard, Storn, and Caps down there late. Uh, we had already used Burnett. Uh, but with those guys that, uh, even though it's a one-run lead, we could hold it and maybe add on a run here or there, but uh, those ones we didn't get, they, they did come back to bite us. A couple times there was uh, there were base runners, especially in the bottom of the sixth, uh, caught on on fairly aggressive running. Uh, was was that a conscious decision on your part to to go the aggressive route? Uh, well, you know it, the the one play uh, just bunted. Uh, Desi bunted, which we wanted him to do, and the ball just died right there in front of the plate. You know, the runner's got to go on that ball, and and uh, Posey made a nice throw down there, and Sandoval made a good tag. Um, so, you know, you just bunt the runner over, and it didn't work. The other one was a hit and run that um, uh, Maxwell got a tough pitch to hit, uh, couldn't couldn't get the bat on the ball. And, um, you know, I think the Giants got away with one there because see, the pitcher didn't make a stop. He he just came up and went. If if he makes the stop that you're supposed to make, then Desmond gets a better jumping, and, and uh, he's going to be safe over there. But uh, you know, uh, he just came up and delivered the ball without stopping, so he, Desi didn't get a jump at second. One of the things that's like Stammen this year has been giving up a lead right after he's gotten it. Is there anything? that you can point to there why that seems to have been the case for him so much no other than that that it's happened you know steve mccaddy's been been on that from day one and um you know he's he's made that very clear that that's just you know however you do it you got to put a zero up there after your ball club scores but um you know his, his stamina gives you everything he's got out there you know he's a great competitor uh after after a very tough inning he then settled down did a good job got us in a position to uh, to win the ball game. They, they got him in the sixth inning. They started the rally, and Burnett kept it in tow. You know, he, he gave us a chance. Burnett did a good job there. But, um, you know, the, the runs we didn't get, the, uh, the hit and run that didn't work for us, all those things, um, again, came back to bite us. Okay, thanks.